I couldn't have wished for a better open. I've got goosebumps all over. That was just magical, wasn't it? Right, lots I want to talk about with that one. Why, hello folks, welcome along to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Claire. I'm a flute player from Hull in East Yorkshire in the UK, and I'm trying to find out if music with flutes is indeed flutiful or not. Now, thank you so much to everybody who's been watching the channel and has sent in lots of things for me to react to. I've got a really, really growing list, which is brilliant. And if you want to add to that list, you are more than welcome by checking out the pinned comments below. Now, today's reaction is one that was suggested by a few people, um, but thanks to Gabriel Bardak for uh, sending this in via the form. And yes, We've got some more Nightwish for you folks. Oh yes, now this was from uh, the Wacken concert uh, live in Germany on the 3rd of August 2013 and the song is called Last of the Wilds. Now a few flutiful facts on this one before we start folks. This was released as a single on December the 5th 2007. It's the same song as the instrumental from the band's album Dark Passion Play and became the second single from the album Amaranth. Um, and and like we say, this was recorded in an open air concert on 2013. And it also apparently marks the beginning of uh, Floor Janssen and Troy Donnelly joining the band. So I have to see this, having admired both of them in my previous reaction. OK, can't wait for this. Here we go. my god what a start oh my goodness me i was so excited before this started to just hear this track but i couldn't have wished for a better open i've got goosebumps all over that was just magical wasn't it right a lot i want to talk about with that awesome pipe playing there from troy um two things that make that particularly awesome for me one is the finger vibrato so i'm sure you can see all the way through that he's using his fingers to create that vibrato now that's something that you can actually do on a flute as well. Um, it doesn't happen as commonly as using the air pressure um, to do it. But on the pipes here, I think it's just awesome because you get a, it's, it's like trilling really between two notes. Um, but he's got it down so brilliantly. It's so smooth. Um, and just so atmospheric. The other thing that's so wonderful about that is the bending of the pitch. Now he's doing that as well. Um, and he's got such a great sense of pitch hasn't he because he's bending between notes and also bending pretty much I think around a semitone um, and he, he knows exactly when to do that and how far to bend and how fast to bend so that it creates this atmosphere of of kind of being um, what we call consonant so so the music is is uh, not dissonant it's consonant it works harmonically and then it being slightly dissonant and, and playing with that edge and that's really you know what what great music is it's this balance between um, tension and release um, the consonants and the and the dissonance and, and he's got such a great sense of pitch um, that he's he's right kind of on the edge of going in and out of that. And that's really, for me, along with the, those gorgeously controlled long notes, is what makes that opening. Um, oh, just, just, just absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's carry on. <laughs>
Okay, I think just before we get to the, the whistle then, I'll, I'll just talk about the, the, the main section there with the pipe. Oh my goodness. So we have the pipe switching to the main melody. This is the instrumental version, isn't it? I think I said earlier this is also a song, but this is the instrumental version. Um, yeah, the pipe's being used as the main melodic instrument there. And just, again, just what control, very subtle bending. Um, not as much as, of course, in the opening there, because it's got to be very, very tight, but it's still there, very, very subtle, gorgeously controlled sound. And then, um, I mean, the whole band are just so tight, aren't they? That's really what, what how it works so well. And then, of course, the melody switches into the guitar and the pipe's doing a little bit of that over the top. Just, um, just, just, just awesome, just the whole texture of it i just love this texture i think i said that in my previous reaction i love the guitar and pipe texture um i think that works really really nicely and of course it's, it's pretty unique so um yeah awesome let's uh, let's enjoy a bit of whistle <laughs> So again, just it's just absolutely gorgeous the way you can switch from one instrument to another. Um, it's the first time I've ever noticed this with with this the whistle that the, the fingers are kind of he's kind of bending round his fingers like snaking them round and all and that what that will do is just again give a slight bend to the pitch a slight change of tone. Um, it's a very unique thing that you can do on on a on an instrument that's open hold. Um, you can't do it so much on an open hold flute because we have keys as well. But where there's no keys, it's just holes. You can you can do all sorts of things in it, and it's the first time I've ever really noticed that um, because um, I, I've not done a lot of whistle playing at all. I'm not a, a folk uh, musician really, so that's really fascinating for me. And it's so so subtle. And just notice still the finger vibrato is still working there, just with one finger, and you can't really hear it so much until you really listen. And that just for me, um, a is the mark of somebody who well really really knows what they're doing and has got all these different techniques down, but is is so. Um, concerned with the intricacies of the sound, which is gorgeous. The other thing I want to say about that is how free that little solo felt. Now, it's not an improvised solo. It is kind of a set thing, but um, it, it didn't feel to me like he felt forced to play it in exactly the same way as he always does. There were there were moments where he kind of there was some space in it and he was taking bigger breaths and just I love the way that the the really feels like there's the space in in the music um again I think I said this last time with my Nightwish reaction um bec uh, and that's that's credit to them as as musicians you know they they look so relaxed on stage I mean just where I've paused the video there they're kind of smiling at each other there's fantastic communication um and, and a sense of a camaraderie and working together which I adore i i love seeing that in, in in any genre of music um so yeah lots uh lots to admire there let's let's carry on
my goodness, how cool is that, folks? Now, I love that little kind of where they were working together there and really, really rocking. That was that was awesome. And ooh, just what a great riff, what a great tune um, to, to, to rock out to. Really lovely structured piece that with the, the atmospheric opening and then kind of straight in it, then the little interlude with the pipe and then back to it. Just awesome. Um, doesn't feel like six minutes. It's six minutes long, that, folks. The other thing I want to say about that is how fantastic to have have an instrumental track and not a song. Now, last time I, I commented on Floor's vocals as well, and, and I love this, all the singing in, in Nightwish, but um, I just think there are not enough just instrumental things out there. And it, this really proves, doesn't it, that it can just be as energetic, as lively, as um, as exciting as, as songs. Um, as somebody who's going out now as a, as a rock flute player, um, sometimes I, I find a little bit of resistance um, to promoters and people wanting to book me because I'm not singing. I am just playing. Um, and I find that really disappointing because, as we're seeing, like instrumental music can be just as exciting. And, and this really, really proves it. So... Um, this is this is awesome. Thank you so much for the suggestion for this, Gabriel, and everybody else who 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 suggested anything from this this uh, Vacan concert. Um, it's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've certainly enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, if you want to send me your suggestions for reactions, then please do check out the form below. And I hope you'll enjoy checking out my other content. I've got covers, I've got vlogs, and of course you're welcome to come along and join me for some live music on Fruitiful Time. So until we meet again, thanks again for watching and stay fruitful. Bye!